In this episode, Heinz will get set up on his brand new Trek racing bike. Heinz will also be heading to Los Angeles to meet his Become One teammates and walk the red carpet at the 21st Annual Endurance Live Awards Gallery. The bike ride at the Ironman World Championship in Kailua, Kona, Hawaii is not for the faint of heart. The 112 mile course is unrelenting. It's hot, it's hilly, it's desolate, and the winds are unpredictable. Heinz needs a bike and a bike position that will allow him to cut through the wind and still maximize comfort and power. The team from Trek is there to give Heinz the best opportunity to be successful in Kona. Something that I've never done before, just going on a bike ride outside. I'm thinking you just get old, you know, a Walmart bike and just go. All of a sudden now you're becoming a, a triathlete. You're going to be intertwined with this bike throughout this whole competition. Yeah, I, just see that. Okay. I gotta give my bike a name. You know, I like Night Rider. Yeah, Kit. Hines arrives in California. The first stop is at a park near downtown LA where he and Coach Paula meet his fellow Become One teammates face-to-face -face for the very first time. Like Heinz, these athletes are Ironman rookies, selected after a nationwide search for applicants who embody the Ironman mantra, anything is possible. Each will face unique challenges on the road to Kona, and through their journey, they're making it their goal to inspire others to achieve their dreams. Chris Ann Dalton is a mother of two from New Hampshire, who hasn't let asthma stand in the way of her love of endurance sports. Josh Kalb is a Colorado medical student who must balance the demands of training with an equally intense workload. And Eric McIlvaney is a Marine from San Diego. Two years ago, he lost his right leg below the knee in an IED explosion in Afghanistan. Now, thanks to a prosthetic, he's courageously racing towards his goal of becoming an Ironman. I'm excited about the opportunity. I hope we learn from each other. This is our family. I was absolutely touched when Heinz said that we are now a family. It was just awesome to relate to him about training because we're both really new to the triathlon thing. I was a little bit nervous, maybe a little intimidated. So to come out and meet everyone in person, it's going to help us kind of grow together as a team. Heinz, Paula, and the team head out for a three-mile, let's get acquainted run. My first impression of Chrisanne was that she brings the most energy to the table. Beneath the positiveness and the enthusiasm is definitely, she's nervous. I think anyone that would be training for Kona would be nervous. But what Paula said is that you need to start off slow, get the body adjusted, and I like that. She's not looking for us to be able to do it right out of the gate. My first impression of Eric actually was nervousness. I don't feel is, is there with him as much as it is with the other athletes. Meeting Paula Newby Frazier was awesome. Doing this Ironman, it's not something that I'm gonna be able to go and muscle through, and, and help from her is it, gonna make a world of difference. My first impression of Josh is just confidence. To me, he's the ringer here. I think he's gonna do exceptionally well. I was really excited to meet Paula, but I was, I was kind of intimidated. So I, of course, YouTubed her and saw her races and all of her times and was just like, are you kidding me? She's amazing. Do not watch Paula's YouTube 1995. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Trust me, you don't wanna watch it. <laughs> Today, there was so much energy in the first workout. The idea was more of a bonding session. Everybody wanted to stay together. They didn't want to be individuals, and I love that. Endurance Live is a unique event. Besides honoring the best athletes and performances from the previous year, fans of endurance sports get to actually rub shoulders with the biggest names from running, triathlon, and cycling. Entertainment Tonight has called the event the Academy Awards of Endurance Sports. Taking part of the, the E-Live event, it was a great opportunity to meet the best of the best. You could see he was very inspired by it all, but he came into this, is so humble. 
There's one thing that's clear to me. When it comes to pushing your bodies physically, you guys are the real deal. Well, I still was a little nervous just being there. All this talk about me and Ayman, he goes, I haven't done anything yet. The endurance community realizing that he's an absolute superstar. He's coming to our little corner of the world. It was a big honor to be there. I got the opportunity to meet uh, Leander and, and Pete, uh, the male and female winners of, of last year's Ironman. And welcome, Heinz, wherever you are, to a wonderful world of Ironman triathlon. <laughs> it's, I have to say, probably one of the hardest things I've ever done, so I don't know what American football is like, but... You know, I still get chills every time I start an Ironman. I got chills just watching the movie of Heinz talking about how he's going to complete the Ironman. I know you will, Heinz, you will. Even though we're in different sports, the way we think are very similar. After training with his new teammates and meeting some of the biggest names in triathlon, Heinz is more excited than ever about his Ironman journey. The biggest jump for him has been the embracing of the consistency of training. But most importantly, it's not a case of him feeling like he has to, he now wants to. I want to compete. I want to compete well. and Do the best that I can. Mentally and inside, I have a heart of Ironman. In future episodes, Heinz travels to San Diego for his first open water swim in preparation for his first ever race, the Super Seal Sprint Distance Triathlon. He also spends time with 2010 Ironman World Champion Marinda Carfre, leading up to his first Olympic distance race at St. Anthony's. All that and more on Become One.